Harley Quinn. Today we're going to be exploring the character that is loved by fanboys and fangirls all over the world. We're going to dive deep into her origin and we're going to find out just what makes this character tick so much. So without further ado... Hey guys! So contrary to popular belief, Harley Quinn actually got her start in Batman the Animated Series, not in the comics. She was created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm and first appeared in the Batman Animated Series on September 1992 in the episode Joker's Favor. Originally created for what was originally supposed to be the animated equivalent of a walk-on role, a number of police officers were to be taken hostage by someone jumping out of a pop-out cake. She can't open the door and push it in all at once. It was decided that to have the Joker do this himself would be too bizarre. In the end, the Joker ended up doing it anyway. Dini got the inspiration for the character of Harley Quinn from actress Arlene Sorkin. She was a former star in the soap opera Days of Our Lives, and in one episode, she appeared in a dream sequence wearing a jester's outfit. Having been friends with Arlene since college, Dini went and asked her if she wanted to do a voiceover role in the animated series, and she agreed. And thus, Harley Quinn was born. However, it wasn't until two years later in 1994 when Harley Quinn got her official origin in the graphic novel Mad Love. In the graphic novel, Harleen Francis Quinzel is an Arkham Asylum psychiatrist who falls for the Joker and becomes his accomplice in an off-again and on-again relationship. It soon became clear to me that the Joker, so often described as a raving homicidal madman, was actually a tortured soul crying out for love and acceptance. A lost, injured child trying to make the world laugh at his antics. Due to the character's popularity, she was eventually added to the Batman comic book canon. She first appeared in the original graphic novel, Batman Harley Quinn, as part of the No Man's Land story. As a side note, I really recommend you check this out, and if you are a Batman comic book fan, I'm sure you've seen this cover at some point when you've been browsing posters or looking online. It wasn't until 2001, however, that Harley Quinn got her own ongoing series titled, what else? Harley Quinn. It was published monthly by DC Comics and it ran for 38 issues and it lasted about two years. In this series, she went solo, which consisted of her starting a gang. Quinn then fled to Gotham for the city of Metropolis with her beloved friend Poison Ivy. Unfortunately, Quinn dies, but not for long. Later, she is to be resurrected, which results in her returning to Gotham. Finally, the series ends with Harley Quinn coming to the realization that she indeed needs help, and she turns herself in to Arkham Asylum. Since then, the character has appeared in many different books, ranging from Birds of Prey to Gotham City Sirens. Following DC's New 52 2011 relaunch, Harley Quinn's costume and appearance had become fully revamped. Harley Quinn has a more revealing costume, altered hair color, and bleached skin. Her hair is half red and half black, like the gesture cap of her previous incarnation, rather than fully blonde. Harley's appearance wasn't the only thing that changed during the New 52, however. After the unfortunate falling out with the Joker, she falls into a murderous chaotic frenzy. This frenzy was directed towards all the people responsible for the Joker's imprisonment. She is then captured by Black Canary. This results in Harley being forcibly drafted into the Suicide Squad. Quinn soon finds out that it's rumored the Joker is dead. It takes a further toll on her already addled mind, and she ends up betraying the Suicide Squad. She puts the safety and secrecy of the squad at risk by turning herself into the Gotham City Police Department in a plot to gain access to the skin face of the Joker. Upon recovering the face, she has another psychotic episode. Harley then captures and ties up Deadshot and places the skin face of the Joker over Deadshot's face so that she can carry on a conversation with her dead lover. And you thought you had relationship problems. After much fan outcry of what many deemed to be a misunderstanding of the character, on July 16, 2013, DC announced that a new Harley Quinn ongoing comic book series would begin publication in November, co-written by Amanda Connor and her husband, Jimmy Palmiotti. The book had a noticeably lighter and more fun tone, and it was very well received and loved by Harley Quinn fans all around. Taking inspiration from Marvel's Deadpool, Harley would break the fourth wall and go on crazy adventures that involve space travel and capturing villains. What I find the most fascinating about the character of Harley Quinn is just how flexible and endearing she is. From a character that has started out as nothing more than a walk-on role in Batman the Animated Series, she has clearly grown into a comic book phenomenon, inspiring cosplayers, comics, and graphic novels. And honestly, I can't wait to see where they take the character next. If this is your first time checking out this channel, I do weekly reviews of trade paperbacks, special editions, hardcovers, all that good stuff. And if you feel so inclined and you want to help keep supporting this channel and keep the lights on, there's going to be a link in the description down below with my PayPal account and in the video. I would love to hear back from you guys. Let me know in the comments section what you think of Harley Quinn.
Bye. Have a great week.